In this next topic, we've got another brand new Tesla software update, this time 2024.2.6, a handful of features that were added on top. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to not a Tesla app. They posted this 2024.2.6 release notes. This is similar to what was released not that long ago, but there was three to four more features that were added on top of that. The first one is time until charging starts when you arrive and plug it in if your battery vehicle battery has not warmed up enough you'll see how long it will be until dc fast charging stop starts i don't know if i actually like this one because usually when you're on a road trip and you go to supercharging stalls you want to be charging as quickly as possible and so maybe if it's like super cold i get it it's got to warm up the battery but you really want to be on the road as quick as possible so time is essentially of the essence the next one estimated battery range update quote your estimated battery range now incorporates additional characteristics related to battery aging over time interesting so is this going to be talking about like when battery starts to degrade if it's going to give you a better accurate estimate hopefully we'll see hopefully not too aggressive next one supercharging in cold weather if you're holding if you're heading to a charger in colder conditions use the vehicle navigation to route there in addition to preparing the battery this auto now automatically starts warming up the charge port inlet oh interesting so it seems like they've maybe took some feedback with places where people were charging their Teslas in really cold climates. And that's probably why they added this time until charging starts as well, because that probably goes right in line with that. The next one is a newer one that happened probably with the last one, but I was able to experience this not too long ago. Ultra wideband phone key. If you've got a Tesla currently and you need to sync it up to your Tesla, make sure to open the app because you'll start a process with now, which now syncs it up to the ultra wideband, which is supposed to add more greater accuracy and responsive lock. I can tell you we've got a Model X and sometimes it's a little iffy with the phone key unlock, but it's got a little bit better now with this ultra wideband phone key.